Hey guys, hey guys, hello. Hey guys, hey guys, hola. Hey guys, hey guys, David here. Hey guys, David here with another video review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Class Mudflap. Mudflap is the ugliest of the twins, uh, to put it mildly. I never knew how controversial these guys were going to be in the movie, honestly. <laughs> it's crazy. But here we have Mudflap. He is a Chevy Trax concept car, much like Skids is a concept Chevy Beat. He has almost no detail. He's very simple and very plain. Uh, I'll get to that in a second, but he's got almost no amount of detail. All you got is this color scheme with this uh, red-orange, if you will, and this gray here with a nice little design here in the front that represents an awful lot of a Honda element. But I like how he's very compact, although I do have some beefs with him in this mode. One is the fact that he doesn't hold together very nicely. I mean, there's every now and then these two panels right here tend to split this panel right here simply see right there pops in and over here we have a storage area to store his missile that will be used later on in the ass also uh, one thing is that he has tracks on his license plate whereas skids has his name and the license plate here he's just promoting his model which I heard it's not even going into production but I'm not sure here we have a comparison with skids here are the twins in vehicle mode. As you can see, Mudflap is a little bit less dense and a lot shorter than Skid is, but he is a lot longer than Skid's in vehicle mode. There you go. This guy. So yeah, Mudflap, a good looking vehicle mode, but like I said, doesn't hold together all that very nicely. So to transform him onto his roller mode, what I like to do is start with these, pa with these uh, wheels right here, and I'll pop them and take the whole leg down and take this on um, pop it ah, come on take this it tends to stick very nicely All right. there you go take the leg down and if you want to go ahead and form the leg much like skits you're gonna notice that there's an awful lot of moments where his transformation is near identical to skits I'm gonna take the foot down from the inside and actually before you do that you're gonna rotate the, this piece right here and rotate it all the way forwards and you could either leave it like this or you could rotate it all the way back until you hear like a click it clicks into something see it snaps into something then you take the foot rotate it forwards that's what I like to do I like to rotate it all the way back until it sort of snaps into something you don't hear a loud click but it snaps into something somehow then you're gonna take the hood and actually first Pop this pieces forward, kind of get them out of the way. Then you're gonna unpop the hood and take it out. S simply separate those the the doors from the back and kind of rotate them out of the way. And rotate this forward. Rotate the head forwards. Now take this piece, rotate it into that peg there. And this one actually snaps into place. And then, much like skits, you're gonna take all this and rotate it like so. And if you want to, you could either leave the piece like that, or you could flip it all the way back until it's like that. I'm going to take what was the mirror and rotate it forwards to kind of get out of the way for right now. I don't exactly have to do it. That's the thing about Mudflap's transformation. There's an awful lot of steps where it's either your decision, or you could do it however other people do it. It's up to you. Then once like skids, I'm going to take this, flip it inwards. Then you're going to go over here in the top and, just like skids, take out the arms and rotate them all the way out. Although, they, they, they're they attached to this backpack piece. Take them out. Rotate them. Fold them down. Take them out. Rotate them. Fold them down. Rotate them forward so they're correct. Then I'm going to take this. And there is a peg in there. Fits into that hole snaps into place 
then you're gonna one sec skits yeah take this press it inwards take this and uh, where is it? make it make the piece go much further beyond the windshield so you can th then rotate this up like that All right. can I get the the doors out of the way for right now then do you see it right there there's a hook that will go right in there there's a little slot where that hook is gonna go but it's a bitch to get in there I really do not like uh, mud flips transformation it it just baffles me I mean I might be transforming him transforming him wrong but there you go there it is it's in there Oh, my dogs are broken. Alright. So simply after that, you can rotate everything back to the way it was. Rotate the window, I mean the doors like so. And they will kind of fit in place with that wheel right there since there's that little um, rounded part right there. Like that. Like right about there. I'm going to flip these to the side to kind of get them out of the way. There's his face. And I think there we have mud flap. Rotate this up. All right, like I said, he is the ugliest of the twins. You can tell by his face, but he's still pretty cool. I mean, he's not as horrible as I thought he was going to be in the movie. But then again, there's all that controversy behind them. I don't pay much attention to it though. Uh, but there we have mud flap. He's well articulated. He comes with good gimmicks, and he has a nice design, especially these two doors. For some reason, the two doors are sell accuracy for me. Like, he had these doors on top right here in the movie. So I thought that was kind of accurate. Um, he's got, like I say, he's got good articulation all throughout his body. My one gripe is the fact that he, he actually, is, he's holding pretty good right now. Like, if you don't mess around with it. But if you, like, for example, if you do, like, some hard poses, eventually he's going to start coming apart and he's just going to, like, for example, if I were to press inwards, like, see, he starts to move. Like, all the pieces just start to move. Um, and that's a big gripe for me, that he doesn't have, he doesn't hold together very nicely. He's not horrible, but he just doesn't hold together all that well. I'm going to take the missile, and this is pretty cool. You take the fist, and you rotate it forwards, and when you do, let me show it again. When you do, the gun comes out, and these two pieces separate. That is awesome. Much like Skids had the big left, <clears throat> excuse me, how the, he had the big left arm, this guy has the big right, I mean, no. Skids had the big right arm, he has the big left arm. And obviously the missile does fire. Pieces out of the way here. And it, where's the, where's it, there it is. It fires very far, so keep your eyes on that missile, because it's going to fly. Let me get it back here, alright. Put the missile back in there. Kind of store it for right now rather than the big anal piece over here on top or the car anal piece and much like skits he also has the mecha live gimmick in which you press the front grill here along with the chevy logo right there if you press it his head will bobble forward and his headlights will shift inwards this gimmick works very well and a lot nicer than skits does skits is very uh limited the, the uh mobility in his head is a lot limited rather than uh mud flap here where he could just blah, bubble Here we have his twin brother, Mudflap, in robot mode to kind of compare them. As you can see, they're almost about the same size. He's only a little bit taller by the uh, doors here at the top, but in that, he's they're almost identical in size, almost identical in design. And like, like I said before, he's got the big right arm and he's got the big left arm. So, if I get Mudflap... At first, I thought he was horrible because of his transformation and the fact that he just doesn't hold together very well. But over time, I really learned to love him, <laughs> honestly. I give Mudflap a 8.1 out of 10, B minus. But to be honest, if you have a mom that says, I'm sorry, but you could only get one Transformer, one deluxe class Transformer, and you have Skids and Mudflap in front of you, I say Skids, in my opinion, I think he looks a little bit better and holds together well. Um, I would still, if I were you, I would still fight to get both of them. But if you absolutely just had to get just one, it was like the law. 
to just get one figure out of these two I say skids and then like the next day try to sneak out and get my flip <laughs> no don't do that kids but anyway that's it for my review of the looks class mud flap hope you guys enjoyed subscribe for more Revenge of the Fallen reviews and I'll see you guys later take care I just figured out a third gimmick for mud flap it's bad enough that it was in the movie but now this